What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new tutorial. In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to play Cursed uh, by King Princess. Very, very simple uh, song, only four chords, the entire record. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, it's a very nice song with a very nice melody. Uh, there's also a little solo that I'm going to teach you as well, so stay tuned for that. But before we get started, you already know if you enjoyed the content of this channel, make sure to go down below and smash that subscribe button. As well, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime that I'll be putting up a new tutorial. Without any further ado, go grab your guitar and let's start this tutorial. <laughs> Alright, so we have a standard tuning on the guitar. And basically for this song, we have three parts. The verses, chorus, and the bridge. So let's start with the verse. The chord progression is the following one. We have D major. So uh, second fret, third string, third fret, second string, and second fret, uh, first string. Then we have E minor. Uh, second fret, fifth and fourth string. And then we have A major. So second fret, uh, fourth, third, and second string. Keep in mind that uh, the D major and the A major, those two will last uh, one measure each. On the other hand, the E minor, this one will last uh, two measures, all right? So we have... All right, so next we have the chorus. This one is slightly different. We're going to throw a G major in there. So the chord progression goes like this. D major, G major, E minor, and A major. So G major, we have a third fret, sixth string, second fret, fifth string. And I like to play it with the two at the bottom right here in the third fret, first and second string. So in the chorus, each of these chords will last one measure. So it'll sound like this. All right, so before going to the bridge, I'm going to show you the strumming pattern that we're going to use for the verse and the chorus. Uh, it's going to be a little different, actually very different from the one that we're going to use in the bridge of the song. So let's start with that, with the verse and the chorus. It goes like this. Alright, so I'm going to remain in the chord progression of the chorus just to show you guys the strumming pattern. Uh, but obviously it's going to be the same for the verse. So let's start, it goes like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. Down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. You gotta feel it, you gotta be smooth, all right? Even more in the transition of the chords. All right, so next up we have the bridge. Uh, for the bridge, we have as well two chord progression. So let me show you the first one. G major. E minor. B minor. And D major. So B minor, we have a bar on the second fret from the fifth string all the way down. We have a fourth fret. 
fourth and third string. And we have uh, the third fret, second string. So then the second chord progression, we start again with G major, E minor, and we have B7. So B7, it's like the B minor, but we lift off the middle finger and we bring down the pinky one on the uh, second string, uh, fourth fret. So B7 right here, we're going to play it for a total of two measures, all right? So the G major is one measure, E minor one measure, B7 two measures. All right, so those are the two chord progression on the bridge and we're going to play in twice. So the strumming pattern is the following one. So for each chord, the strumming pattern is going to be the following one. Down, 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 up. 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 So much easier than the chorus and the verse. And the last thing that I want to show you guys, it's uh, this little solo that we hear in the song, which I think that sounds very cool. And it goes like this. All right, so let's start with uh, the first part, which is the D major. All right, so in the second string, basically we play second fret, third fret, second fret, third fret. But at the beginning, obviously, we are going to add the bass note. So the bass note of the D major, it's the fourth string open. Next up, we're going to do the same with the G major. So we're going to add the bass note, which is uh, the third fret, sixth string. On the second string, we're going to play exactly the same thing. Two, three, two, three. So next we have E minor. So we have those two notes here um, in, the th in the second string, fifth fret. And uh, third string, sixth fret. And obviously the bass note will be uh, the sixth string open. So next we go to A major. So we keep the middle finger right there in the third string, sixth fret, and we place uh, the ring finger, uh, second string, seventh fret and we add the bass note of A major, which is the fifth string open. So again, we play second string, third string, second string, third string. So let me play it again slowly. Alright peeps, that's it for today. I really hope that this tutorial was very helpful and if it was, do me a huge favor, go down below and smash that like button. As well, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, if you want me to do any other tutorial of your favorite song, make sure to leave it in the comment section down below. Uh, until next time guys, stay safe. Peace.